fun. Back to work. This morning I had an uh, interesting little problem that I had to deal with when I first got here. I'm finally getting suited up, ready to try diving for some gold. But when I got here I found uh, my dredge was still anchored to the steel cable that can't be cut. But my line, this red rope, which is part of a 300 foot line, 100 foot sections that are all tied together. This is probably about a 30 foot section that appears to have been cut out of the middle of a brand new piece of rope. It's hard to say exactly, you know, but when I look at it, the inner core sure looks like it was cut. And how on earth could you cut a section out? I mean, you could come up and cut the rope one time and away the dredge would go, which is what happened. It was, it was down there, still anchored by that steel cable. You can see kind of coming out of the water, hanging there. That's what I secure it with at night with a padlock, fortunately. Or it would have been bye-bye dredge somewhere down there. Who knows where it would have ended up. But that sure looks like a cut. This end I'm not so sure about. Hard to say, maybe a boat prop. Maybe, a, how on earth could you cut the rope twice in the middle? If it's under tension, yeah, you can slice it. But then once it's cut, there's no more tension. And away the rope and dredge go. So I have no idea other than it was a near disaster that I had to recover my dredge from, get it back up on its anchor line. If it gets cut again, I'll know it's malicious. If it doesn't happen again, I guess it may just have to be chalked up to some mystery. I don't know how it could get... You know, how could you go in the middle of a rope and cut it twice, 30 feet apart? Pretty hard to do unless two people were out there while it was still under tension and kind of cut it at the same time you know, simultaneously to cut out a section. And the section was still kind of tangled up on the rope that had gone down with the dredge. Uh, I don't know how it happened. I just hope it doesn't happen again. If it happens while I'm dredging, I'll have a hold of the nozzle and I can stagger it over to the bank somehow before I go too far down. And at night, it'll be on a steel cable so they can't completely cut it with ease if somebody did actually cut it. I don't know. All I know is that one stump of rope sure looks like it was cut. Look at this. You know, the outer section, you know, it comes apart, it, un it unravels in the current flapping around. But the middle core, look at that. That has to have been cut by a knife. I don't know how else you'd get it that that neatly cut off. So I don't know, I may be under attack here. One of the fun things that dredgers get to do, in case you're considering coming out and dredging, it's a pretty hostile environment, and there are a lot of hostile people that don't want us out here, that despise what we do. So you're not going to be very well liked, except by other miners. So that's it for this morning. I gotta get going so I can try and get some kind of work done, maybe find some gold. Pick it up later. All right, gang. That's it for me for July the 11th, Saturday. Found a little bit of gold, not too great. I'll show you a lit trap. The current is just ripping. Out there where I'm at, I'm really way far out. There's there's the bank. I'm way out about here. You see uh, a little bit of a shallows there, a little rapids there with some boulders. I'm, I'm about 10 feet this side of them. And it's really uh, beating me up pretty good. 
There's a little bit of gold. Doesn't look that great. I've had a lot better looking at lit traps. So maybe two, three penny weight. Hardly enough to make the day worthwhile. Better than getting skunked, I guess. A lot more black than there is gold. Not what you want to see. And I see mercury on it, too. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm going to finish this cleanup and get the hell off this river. Getting kind of gloomy and no rain today, but a lot of overcast. So that's it. I'll pick it up back at camp. See what we get. And here you go. This is the panning results from uh, July 11th. I did not separate some of the plus 20s, a little slightly larger pieces, because there's some mercury on some of them, and there's a lot of mercury on the minus 20, the very fines, that's all that silver. So I left them all together because this time I'm going to go ahead and remove the mercury before I store it so I don't have to look at it. And um, when you see it weighed up you'll see it's all nice and golden after I get rid of the mercury. So I don't know, I'm guessing three or four penny weight or so. And there you have it. Let's see what it is after it's dried out. Okay, real simple for this weigh-in. It's all together. I didn't keep the plus 20s separated from the minus ones because there weren't that many and I wanted to remove the mercury. So you may recall that it was all silver. Had a lot of silver on it. Now all the silver is gone. The mercury is gone. So we'll weigh it up and see what we got. I just don't have much energy left for anything elaborate, so it's going to be as simple as it could be. Looks like 5.1 quarter ounce. Pretty good take for the day. All things considered. So there you have it. That's uh, July 11th. Not quite the spectacular bonanzas of ounce a day kind of thing, but quarter ounce is still significant. A lot of work for that quarter ounce. 200, 250 bucks. So there you have it. And that is it from the Hand of Guard for today's take and the Hand of Guard Gold Adventure. Thanks for subscribing and we'll see you in the next video.